ULAS was called in in 2013 to look at this large area between the villages of Glenfield and Kirby Muxlow. It was a site that we knew about from the early 1990s when a smaller excavation had taken place ahead of a road scheme and associated field walking had picked up a much wider spread of finds that gave us an idea that there was a much bigger area of settlement that was still left to be looked at. The main focus of our work was a, a four hectare spread of Middle Iron Age to Late Iron Age settlement remains and that consisted of a spread of roundhouses, enclosures, various pits and Iron Age settlement features. The nature of the finds was totally unique to this area and beyond really. We found a whole series of complete metal cauldrons from the Iron Age, a complete sword, various dress pins and brooches and a very unusual object known as a horn cap which we think may have been part of a ceremonial scepter or mace. One of the main finds that we made were the cauldrons. They're extremely rare to find. This is only the second multiple cauldron find of its type in Europe. They're over 2,000 years old and they're extremely fragile objects when they were in use because they're made of paper thin copper alloy bowls with iron rims and handles. We couldn't excavate them properly in the ground in any great detail so the approach we took was to lift them in a soil block which was carefully wrapped up in, in plaster of Paris bandages and then they were brought back to our store. We did think about using x-ray facilities, but there wasn't really an x-ray machine that was big enough to take these soil blocks. So we chose a medical facility in Middlesex. And from that, we've had some fantastic, really detailed x-ray images that are three-dimensional rotating models. And we're able to get a first look, really, as to what the details of these cauldrons are. We've had one cauldron now fully excavated and conserved and that has added even greater detail than the scan imagery. It's given us a, much more of an insight into how these things were made, but also the types of things that they were cooking in them because we have an inkling that there are trapped residues between the copper alloy sheets of the bowl, which could prove to be very informative. Well, we've learnt an awful lot about the site. I think this site is um, completely unique really in terms of our um, Iron Age sites that we have in this country. It's a very large site and it looks like on the surface you would think it was perhaps a village site but a careful unpicking of the um, stratigraphy and the, and the overlapping roundhouses has shown that it is actually a very long-lived site with slight shifts in settlement over time. It began life as a relatively small open settlement of paired roundhouses after that, in the Middle Iron Age, perhaps the 4th or 3rd centuries BC, it became very different in character. The roundhouses became individually enclosed. There was more of a sense of individualism from each household group. And because we've got this fantastic long lifespan and spread of activity over the whole area, we can see that the, the, where the deposits occur are um, in different areas across the site. There is one main focus where the cauldrons were, but the cauldrons are also being deposited across the site as well in different features. So that gives an indication perhaps that there were different events being marked by these deposits, or perhaps even that there were, was a shifting focus in the feasting activities across time. <laughs>